Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. In today's video, we are going to see next part of our ongoing series, which is compositing a full CG environment. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, as you can see over here, I have done this much where I have rebuilt my passes. Here, I'm not using this pass, which is my mist pass. If you can see, I'm having lots of noise in mist. So I'm facing a strange problem and as soon as I'm going to shuffle my depth and if I'm going to decrease my this thing, if you can see, I'm having strange white dots all over in my G depth. Also, if I'm going to show my point position pass, if you can see, I'm having those strange black dots over here as well. So. I'm not sure why this is coming uh, since this is rendered from Blender and I'm not very much familiar with uh, Blender. And that's why I'm still looking for a solution. If anyone having any kind of solution, please, please ping me on Instagram or my Discord channel where I can have solution and I, I can do a final render for this as well. Okay, so apart from that, let's start enhancing our scene. In this video, mostly we are going to focus on how to add more atmospheric and how to do trickings as per our requirement, right? So, so as you can see over here, this is a very moody and morning scene and uh, particularly in winters, if you can see, uh, there is a lot of atmospheric in, in environment, right? So I'm going to uh, add few hanging smoke slash mist over here. So how to do that? What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring few assets and I'll start working on it. Okay, so I'm having few 2D elements for my atmospheric and also I'm having few images or PNGs from Photoshop, which I've created this thing in Photoshop and probably I'll use it. Also, I'm having my camera as well, right? So although this is a static image, which I'm working on, but I'm planning to do a sequence rendering. That's why I'm using camera to adjust my atmospherics, right? Okay, so since this scene is pretty heavy, so I couldn't manage to export FBX, but uh, to fix that thing, I'm having one node called uh, position to point, right? So I'm going to connect position to point over here. In position to point, I'm going to use surface point as my position. And also I'm going to use surface normals to my normals like this. So if you can see over here, I'm having my this thing, right? Also, if you can see, if you can go closer, I'll have my scene setup. So right now I'm going to use this asset first. So what I'll do, I'll go over here and definitely I'm going to take a node called scene. And in scene, I'm going to connect my camera like this. And also I'm going to take a node called card. Right. I'll connect my card over here and also I'm going to add my this thing in my scene just for references so that I can start placing my things. And also I need scan line render. So object and scene will be go will go here and camera will go to my camera. So this will be my setup, which I'm going to use. Right. Apart from that, what else I'm going to do, I'm going to probably I'm going to use this thing in card directly. And if I'm going to select my card, I'm having my card over here and I can sense where my card should be. OK, so mostly I'm going to place my 2D elements or my cards somewhere on top of my pond. Right. So I'll go over here in card and I will scale it a little like this. And also, if you can see, I'm not having a transparency, right? So what I will do, I will use a node called Keyer and I'll connect Keyer. And as soon as I'm going to connect my Keyer, you can easily see I'm having my transparency. Also, I need to lift my card, something like this. And also, I'm going to place somewhere near or behind this tree. And might be a little rotate it, something like this. And let's check my scan line render. And also I can see 
I'm having my card, right? So mostly I'm going to disable it and I can see I'm having my card and for Sephora side, I'm going to take a merge node. This will be my B and this will be my A and let's check what I'm getting. Okay, now I can see I'm having uh, my fog, but I'm having cut because in card I'm getting something like this. So probably you can see over here, I'm having this edge visible over here. So how to fix that? It's pretty simple. Also, if possible, I'm going to take a note called reformat because this is a 4K and my full setup is of uh, uh, HD. So it will be better to use reformat. So also I'm going to take a roto node and I will draw a roto shape like this just to avoid my edges and I'll take merge and I'll mask it. And also I'll take a blur node and I'll blur it just to soften things. Right now, if I'm going to check, I'm having good amount of fog over here, but it's way up. So I'll double click on my card and I'll start placing things. And also I'm feeling that it's too big or size is too big. So I'll definitely I'll reduce the size and I'll keep placing things somewhere like this. Also, I'll go to my 3D view. And if needed, I can enable this and I'll keep placing as per my requirement like this, right? So this will be my first uh, fog or card which I'm placing. And also I will check, yes, I need little more fog, little more dense fog to hold. I'm going to take a node called frame hold and it will be static. It won't move if I'm going to a uh, play also what i'll do i'll take another frame hold and i'll connect this thing and probably this time i'm not going to use same frame might be i'll use 250 so that i'll have some variation and also i'll take same card i'll connect it and i will use in scene so i'll tell you why i'm using it and also i'm going to enable it i'll double click over here and probably i'll place it little behind and i can place it like this might be i can rotate a little more might be like this and just check so now i'm having more fog over here so i'll make sure it won't disturb my another one so probably i'll use it something like this and i can see i'm having little lines so need not to worry probably i will tweak my roto and it will gone correct but one problem will get i am getting my fog on top of my this tree so i need to fix it it's pretty simple fix what i'll do i will take a node called crypto mat and easily you can see i'm having this thing so i'll take crypto i'll take picker and i'll pick this tree definitely it will select multiple trees but need not to worry what i'll do i'll go to node and i'll hide input later on i'll fix it need not to worry and i'm going to take a merge node i'll connect this with my crypto and i will mask it or stencil it so as soon as i'm going to stencil it you can see i'm having this thing stencil right so now my fog is behind my tree and same way i'm going to add few more fog cards and i'll come back once this is done okay as you can see over here i have added multiple cards and if i'm going to show this is the way how i adjusted my cards and if i'm going to enable this thing multiple cards aligning over here can you see that it's pretty simple and if I'm having a moving camera. It won't make any problem because my camera is same as, as I rendered it from Blender, right? So this is the way how I set up my fog cards or 2D elements. And if I'm going to show the final version or this thing, so it's coming out pretty nicely as you can see over here, right? Also, I want to add more fog or mist behind these trees so how to do that it's pretty tricky now 
you can use same way you can put card and you can render it out and you can definitely definitely do that so how i did that let me show it to you same way i'm going to might be i'm going to copy this thing or i can take a postage stamp let me take a postage stamp and i'll connect this and also in postage stamp i'll hide my input like this i'm going to show you another way to add if this is a static image so how we can do that it's pretty simple i'm going to take a shuffle node and i will shuffle my depth pass so i'm going to shuffle my depth and if you can see i'm having this kind of depth and also i will take a grade node and in grade node i'm going to do this so probably this will be my approach so if you can see i'm having these points it's not good still i'm figuring it out how to fix that thing hopefully in coming time i'm going to fix it and also what i'm going to do i'm going to take a crypto mat and in crypto mat for sure i'm going to connect this with my crypto like this or also i can take this thing right and in this particular crypto i'm not going to use crypto asset i'm going to use crypto material and material will be this i'm going to select this and also this so you might ask everything is selected need not to worry now i will do i will take a merge node and also i will mask this okay so i am getting this for sure what i will do i will take a clamp node and after using clamp i can blur it little so that my fireflies will go and also if needed i can adjust my grade something like this might be like this i will take this thing and i need a merge node this will be be, be my b and this will be my a and what i'll do and again if you can see i am having a resolution problem so i'll take a reformat node and i'll connect it right and over here i'm going to mask it so as soon as i'm going to mask i'm having this thing and let's add directly over here let's see what what's i'm getting so if i'm going to see i'm getting this thing also what i will do i will take a transform node and i will transform this thing and might be you can ask why this is coming black it's coming black because i don't have any kind of alpha so i'll take keyer node and definitely i'll connect this thing also i will transform this thing like this and let's adjust this and also what i will do i will take a, a roto shape node i'll draw a shape it's pretty simple it's repetitive work i know but this is what we need to add multiple things and i will add and i'll blend it on mask so i'm having this i'll take a blur node and might be if needed i can increase this thing something like that and let's see our final output now if i'm going to take my transform and let's transform it and if you can see i'm having my fog so this is the way how you can add more fog more drama and if you can see these are excluded one and if if needed you can tweak any time right so this is the way how i ended up adding fog to my scene can you see that so this is earlier and this is now what i'm having little foggy foggy thing can you see that so yeah it's it's coming on pretty nicely and i hope you have an idea how to use atmospherics how you can enhance your compositing and how you can take it forward to your desired output right so i think that's it for today's video it will be a, a four or five video series so you have to be with me and you need to follow step by step right so i hope this video is helping you to uh, understand the process of adding uh, atmospheric and if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfx5 signing off have a good day